What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. This one in particular, we're going to be going over to the NCR complex, or compound if you will, that is within the Vegas Strip, uh, and basically just check it out and see what potential missions uh, we could get from that location. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge, huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Alrighty. Come on, Victor. We need to get out of here. Yes, please. Uh, casino floor. Casino floor. Yep. Thank you. All right. It's literally very easy to get there. All you gotta do is basically make a left and continue going straight until you get to the very end, and then it's on your left hand side. It's literally super ridiculously easy. So, I've always loved the look of New Vegas, even though it's very. Uh, like every it, it's like only a couple things per section. It still looks pretty cool, regardless. I like it. Look at this dude's wasted out of his mind. Um, alrighty then. Later, bro. All right. Another thing we need to do is figure out where the rest of the uh, talent pool people are. I think we got, what, two or three people? Uh, Michael Angelos. I don't think I've ever been in there, to be honest. We'll probably check it out at some point. Alright. These should be all just regular Hello. troops, right? Oh, look. It's an MP. That's what I used to be. That's literally what my job was back in the army. Alright, uh, let's check this side out first. Uh, military police headquarters. Yeah, this is this is where I belong right here. Hey, what's up? An NCR welcome to you. Oh, all right then. He must be a very good uh, typer if he could type and look at me at the same time. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Well, this place is boring. Look at these freaking guys are. Who are these guys? Just a traveler and a gambler. Alright, I should probably put my gun away since we are inside of the police uh, station, basically. Fire hose box? Nah, I'm good. Alright, come on. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. Let's look on the other side. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. Well, whoever this Crocker is, they don't like him. Hello. Lisa O'Malley. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Um, what can you tell me about the Embassy? The Embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. Um, well, before I do, do me a favor and uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? I mean, you didn't have to say it like an asshole, but yeah, sure, why not? I understand where you're coming from. Well, since uh, you want to be rude and everything, I'm looking for the ambassador. Where is he? Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Well, short and sweet, I suppose. Door to her right, so it's that way, but I want to look over here first. Because I'm a rebel. Uh, hold on, there's a door right here. Doesn't look like there's anything at all in here, so. And I don't really do the whole crafting thing in this game. Look at some what more MPs. It? I want to be an MP. Captain. Ooh, I who heard are you, you killed Benny over at the tops. I bet you think you're some sort of tough cookie. A piece of advice. If you mess with any of my men, you'll regret it. Damn, she's a hard ass. Um, tell me more about you, actually. I, you're an interesting character. I don't know who you are. Not much to tell. Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. It's my job, and I'm going to do it well. Now, if that's all, I've got work to do. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Uh, what can you tell me about the ambassador, anyways? Eh, Crocker isn't too bad. He mostly stays in his office now. If you have any questions about the embassy, you should ask him. He'll talk your ear off. So, Crocker, then. Um, what's happening in the strip? Yeah, more of the usual. We're keeping an eye on the troopers to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Yeah, the only stupid one we've had lately is Private Irwin. He's starting to cause more trouble than he's worth. Oh. Okay, Private Irwin. Bye. 
Don't know who that is. Red Beret's looking good, soldier. Oh, that's cool. He noticed that I was wearing a red beret. Help what you. the fuck? Look at her working out. Good stuff. I can't look through these, though. I'll get fired. Uh, can I sleep on these beds? Yes, I can. Let's take a quick nap, actually. Oh, it's late at night, though, so we should probably sleep till the morning. <clears throat> that way we could be all nice and ready for the morning. Uh, I think we're just going to stop it short at, like, 8. Yeah, well, we'll stop it at 8. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's up, oh. Captain? All right, we came from that direction, so let's look over here. Uh, this is the other bathroom. Hey. This is a fancy bed for this location. Who sleeps here? I mean, if I had to guess, it's probably Crocker's room. Oh, is it her room? Maybe. Hello. Uh, found the defect. A.K.A. the dining facility for those who don't know. Oh, get out of my way, Rex. Where the hell is, uh... Oh, yeah, we went the opposite direction, didn't we? Because I'm a rebel. All right, let's go ahead and look on the that opposite direction then. Looking good, soldier. Morning. Motherfucker. Yes, I got it. You guys all keep saying the same thing. Appreciate it, though. Uh, Nobody's in here. This got to be the room. Oh, Fancy office! Wow, I'm impressed, Mr. I'm Crocker. Glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. Um, I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot, but. If we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. Um, well, I mean, I guess you got my attention, so do go on, please. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Well, first of all, I don't have any negative reputation, if you will with your whole organization aka the ncr but yeah sure i'll help uh, and do whatever i can uh to find these so-called boomers of yours much appreciated once you've talked to them come back and let me know if they will help us all right well first things first let's talk about the boomers thanks for doing this remember we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle do whatever it takes oh well all right uh tell me about yourself sir Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago back in the NCR as the local mayor and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. That's interesting. Do go on, sir. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? That's actually pretty cool. So, what can you tell me about the NCR as a faction? I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojave in force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival. 
and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Okay. That's a lot to digest, but do do me a favor and please go on. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble. But that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. So what's happening around the Strip then? It's the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. Man, that's all. This is the guy is giving us a lot of information. I don't want to play caravan, so good. Goodbye. Yep, later. So it looks like we have to go to meet the boomers. Uh, let's see where that's at on the map. I know it's on the top right, but holy shit, that's far. We could probably go to the Crimson Caravan family. Our uh, company and then just make our way over there. It is really far though, but I guess we don't really have much of a choice, huh? What's up, Boone? Looking mighty mm -hmm. fly in that ranger armor. Alright, we should be able to fast travel from here. So let's go ahead and fast travel to the Crimson Caravan company. And then we'll start walking way out there, dude. It's really far though, so there's that. All right, which way is it? It is in that direction. We should probably get our pistol out just in case. Wait a minute. The um, where's uh? Yeah, Gunrunners is over here. Let's go take advantage of the fact that Gunrunners is right here, and uh, see if we could buy any new guns. I want a rifle. Cause right now all I'm using is uh. Is a pistol and a rifle. Uh, uh, two pistols, right? Laser pistol. And a plasma pistol. Yep, I definitely want the... Uh, like a laser rifle or a plasma rifle. That way I can have a little bit of diversity, you know what I mean? Because pistols use the same ammunition. Uh, like the laser pistols and the... Uh... Right? Or am I crazy? So this uses... Elect yeah, see, they both use the same. Rifles use micro-fusion cells instead of energy cells. Which I always wondered why in this game and in Fallout 3 they use different kind. I don't know, it's weird. Hello, potential customer. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Uh, well, I mean, I'll look around, but we'll see. I am ready to process our transaction. Alright, let me see. Guns... Um, anything interesting around... That is expensive. Um, cowboy repeater. Lever action rifle, medicine stick. My god, dude, this was my... This is usually my go-to weapon, but man, that is expensive. Alright, um... No, nothing. Ooh, 
Ooh, that helmet looks pretty badass. Alright, let me go all the way up. I kinda I'm I'm kinda interested. Although combat armor does seem pretty cool to get. <clears throat> I don't have enough for that though. Uh helmet mark two. Oh, there isn't anything here. I could always try to go for this. Let's buy the combat helmet reinforced. Yeah. Alright. Well, how much am I missing? I'm missing a lot of money. Alright. Uh, well, I don't need any of this. Um, definitely keeping Benny suit though. I'm not going to lie. That's not worth anything. I just bought that. Um, crap, I don't think I have, I'm not going to have enough, I don't think. So this is my good one, this is not my not so good one. So I guess we could sell this. Yeah, we'll sell this. I don't need two. Nah, crap. Alright. So I guess we're just gonna keep our combat helmet. Although I'm probably... I should have not bought this now that I think about it, man. I'm not gonna wear it because I, I do like this hat that I'm using right now. Oh well. It is what it is. I'll probably end up buying the reinforced combat armor mark 2 eventually. Although there's probably, realistically, some places that I could... Uh, find it out in the world but I don't know I don't know where they're at talk to traveling merchant hey there. there's two of them anything? Uh, let's see what you got laser pistol no anything good on this end no you hey there need anything uh, I'll see sure here's what I got um, plasma defender I don't have enough, but that sounds cool. Oh, that sounds badass too. Oh, gasp. All right. Oh well. Uh, I guess we could go this way. This should be on the left, the uh, Crimson Caravan Company. We should probably, there's a vendor in there. We should probably check it out. Maybe. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that really quick. We're not actually going to explore the Crimson Caravan Company just yet. But what we, what we will do is... Uh, oh, yeah, this is the doctor's place. What we will do is just go in, go to the vendor. Morning. Hey, look who it is. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Thank you. 150 caps, that's it. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what are the rules of... Nah, I don't care about that. So what's next for you, buddy? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. That's pretty cool. Congratulations. Later. I'll see you around. Awesome. All right, let's talk to the vendors over here. Is this a vendor? Hey. No. This is the vendor. What's if up, Blake? If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Oh, that's cool. What do you have for sale? Can do. Um, recharger rifle? This isn't an energy weapon, is it? I'm tempted to buy it just to check it out. It's only 100 caps. Fuck it. Hold on, let's see. Um. No, nothing. So there is a couple things I want to buy here. I just need to remember which ones it was. Fuck, I don't remember. 
So he sells mods too, so that's a good thing. Uh, laser rifle focus. Damn, they're expensive. Um. Oh, yeah, this. A book. And then there's another book right here. Tiny babies, all you need to know. Pediatric. There we go. Alright, we're good. Thank you. See ya. Alright, now we can get out of here. So I'm gonna need those later. So there's that. All right, hey. let's discover this place really fast. We gotta go in this direction anyways. Actually, let me see if I can get an implant. All right, excuse me, hello. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Alright, well, what do you have for sale? Wait, what kind of uh, uh, implants are available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Ooh, that sounds cool. I want to buy an implant. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Mm. Oh, that regenerating ability sounds freaking awesome. But realistically, luck and agility are up there. Luck, agility, uh, perception might be good too. Let's go with, let's go with luck. If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you Four. luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. Yeah, I don't have that money right now, sorry. That's alright. What do you have for sale? Uh, well, she's got doctor's bags. I should buy these doctor's bags, fuck it. Um... Yeah, we're good. Later. <laughs> we're gonna have to come back anyways at some point. Definitely want those, uh... Implants. They will come in handy in the long run, I think. Boone, what are you doing? Get your ass over here. You two Rex. Don't attack the cows. I think we're I think we're in the clear. All right, come on, Boone. Where the hell's Rex? <laughs> oh, fucking Rex! All right. I mean, I guess we'll come in here anyways. All right. Oh well, let's go. Hiya! All right, what do we got here? This is all freaking toxic, I believe. Come on, Rex. I told you not to mess with that freaking cow anyways. I don't know what's wrong with you. You don't listen, kid. Oh, that sounds gross. All right. Boone, you're over there freaking fighting cows too? Why are these cows absolutely insane anyways? Oh, my. It's kind of funny that I'm getting XP for them killing everything. Do I get, like, less XP? You know what? I'm gonna switch from my plasma pistol to this pistol. So much faster. 
Man, they're just killing everything. Savages. Alright. What the hell is that sound? Oh, it's the tower, isn't it? Alright, let's look in here really quick. This place is absolutely empty. Abilene kid. Nice. I'll take those BBs. Hold on, let me change my camera view because I can't see shit. Sure, I'll take those rounds. Rounds are good for selling. What the hell was that sound? Energy cell, absolutely. None of that. Let's go ahead and rest for an hour. Um. Empty, empty. Is that a cap? Sun star battle. Battle cap. Bottle cap. Yay. Alright, well, did I check this thing? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's go. We got a unique weapon, though. The, the BB gun. Alright, let's go. What's up, homeboy? Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Muma territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Uh... Oh, uh, you can tell me. Uh... No, I'm not gonna insult this dude. Thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Oh, okay. Uh, is there a way to get past? There is a way. And I'll tell you. For a little wager. Uh, let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Mmm. Sure. Well, since I know I'm going to end up making it, if I go with 50, but he doubles, I only get 100 caps in return. So if I do 300, I make it back alive, I get 600. So this is definitely the better deal. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Sounds good. 600 caps. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick save. Wait, hold on. Uh, we'll do this one, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the difference is. Let's just go. Oh god, we're about to blow up. There's a power armor suit around here somewhere that I want to get. If I survive, of course. Ah! Oh god, I have a broken leg. I should probably stay here. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think I made it. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm literally just running for it. Let's put my weapon away. Oh god. I'm scared. I'm just gonna hug the left wall. Run for it! Boone and Rex, you guys are on your own, buddies. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Run! Did I make it? I think I made it. Woo, that was intense. Look at this guy coming off of a freaking guard tower. Look, motherfucker. You're gonna let me in. Whether you like it or not, alright? Um, let's take the road as if we actually came here. Oh, look, Nellis Air Force Base. Very nice. What's he doing? Oh, hold it right there. 
Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Magic? Um... Uh... Who's in charge here? I'm not telling you a thing, Savage. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you, jackass. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Um... Who's Mother Pearl? As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start, and has the wisdom of her age. She said that this day would come, and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. Um... What's the Masters at Arms? I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. So, the fact that we're having this conversation means you failed. Am I correct in that assessment? I wasn't the one firing the howitzers. If you want to see how good I am at killing savages, I can show you. No, no, or no. Or you can accept Mother Pearl's invitation. It's your choice. No, oh, yeah, all right, let's go. Follow close and mind your behavior. And now we're magically here. Welcome, child. Whoa, that's a Took sexy your back of your time head. Getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. I kind of wish I could see you. Uh. You mean you were expecting me like a prophecy or something? Prophecy. Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? <laughs> I just hoped a savage, oh, outsider, sorry, would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little too. So, how might be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. <clears throat> Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Uh, how can we trust uh, each other if you're going to keep secrets from me? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. The world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in, just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. That sounds cool. Uh, so where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Interesting. Well, now that I can finally see you, I've always really liked their outfits, man. Wait, there not there like a secret in here somewhere? Uh, Colonel Blackwell's key? Um... I kind of want to do their missions. Let me see here. Uh, world map, quests. Um. Alright, so we could do Volaire. So we gotta go out here, I believe. She said we could go to the museum. Or various other places, like a bug problem or something. Uh, we'll just follow, I guess, this marker I don't know where it's leading us so we're going to find out shortly I suppose uh, it's this door I guess yep let's go ahead and put our weapon away 
Hello, kid. You're the outsider. Oh, this is a museum. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Um. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. <laughs> I bet you want to know everything about us. Um. Yeah, of course. I'd like to know more about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? I mean, I didn't, but yeah, sure, go ahead. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Damn, that looks cool. <clears throat> Fall 34. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. <laughs> even a hand grenade. Okay. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. Those we are good odds. New home. We need a Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Okay. Well, until. Uh, I'm not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Nice, nice. Oh, that's why they call them boomers. And that is our story so far. For this last image, is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Wait, okay, really quick. Hello. You found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles. But rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Bye. And that's true. All right. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. I suppose. Um, I, yeah, I have uh, questions about your people's history. Ask away. So, why did your ancestors leave the safety of the vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Uh, makes sense. Ooh. I don't have an explosives magazine, I don't think. Um. Uh, your people are, uh, were real. Your people were willing to risk it all for your freedom? And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm surprised Nellis was empty uh, when you guys found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Ignoramuses? Uh, whereas your people had brought, uh, Geiger counters, uh, with them from the vault, correct? That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? Sure. How do you survive totally cut from the world like this? How do you guys provide for yourselves? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. That's cool. Don't have enough survival, so... Uh, the inequity of 
uh, your people is absolutely remarkable, and I respect you guys for that deeply. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? So, the Howitzers. What are they doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. So not Area 51? Um, the Howitzer's battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Uh, how has Nellis taught your people how to fly, especially if you guys don't have a plane? A working one, that is. Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. Cool. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Man. Um... Oh, I don't have enough. Of course, you wouldn't want outsiders learning to fly. Thank you for being so understanding. Anything else you want to know? So, how did you learn uh, where to find the old boomer or bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Gasp! Uh, I mean, you could attach a ballast, a ballast, uh, to the plane and then haul it from where, uh, here for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. That's cool. Um... So, do you know anybody else who might need any help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. All right, later. See ya. Yay, I'm accepted by the boomers. Damn, I got a lot of reputation for that. All right, so we got another arrow literally right over here. Then we got what looks to be two more in that direction. So I suppose we'll check this side out first. And then we'll see what happens. Nellis hangers. Oh wait, it's on. It's on this side. Hello. Oh, that's loyal. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. So I'm basically just here to make myself useful. Is there anything I can do to help you out, man? If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it. But it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Oh, okay. So where should I look for some spare parts on this situation? Huh. If we had spare parts, do you think I'd be asking you to fix the damn things? That's rich. No, we ran out of spares a while back. Jack and I have been doing our best to patch the arrays up as best we can. Sadly, we're at our wit's end. There have to be spare parts somewhere around the wasteland, but I just don't know where to direct you. You may have noticed we don't get out much. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, well, I'll see what I... Wait, let's talk about something All else. Alright, what's on your mind? Uh... Ooh, can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Damn it. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are their pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. 
We dream to one day rule the skies. All right, later. Bye. Ah, you come here, Jack. So you're the outsider. Holy shit, that's scary. Your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language, but I hear you sound like us. Um, nope. I sound like a jackrabbit. Uh, what do you do here, anyways? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work and robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Yep. What can you tell me about him, anyways? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's gotta learn everything he knows. That'd be me. Ah, uh, makes the sense. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, real nice day. The lady? What are you talking about? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. No, wait, no. Hey there. Back for more? Uh, anything I can do to help? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well... I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but... Well, uh, forget it. No, tell me. Uh, where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time, man. It, it, sure. <laughs> that must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Yay. Yeah, go ahead, man. Tell, uh, tell me about her. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? <laughs> what if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. Oh, what a weenie. I'm looking into... I'll, I'll look into it. Stranger things have definitely happened, man. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. No. Jack's love story. All right, let's go ahead and activate that. Uh, Jack, uh, let me know uh, there is a girl he is interested in at the Crimson Caravan. Okay, so now we know the location. He knows she has red hair, but that's all she he knows. He'd like me to talk to her and see. Okay. All right, so let's go. Let's go try to do that. Actually. Um, so Crimson Caravan. Good thing we discovered that place. Because we could just fast travel straight there and take care of the situation for him. Are we outside? Yeah, we're outside. So let's go inside. Red hair. Red hair. Let me check outside first before we... Oh, red hair. I see you. I see you. How do I get in there? Hey, you lady. Oh, that's brown hair. Janet? You should go talk to Blake or Alice. I they handle most of our contact with visitors. Uh, I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Uh, I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man who seems to have a crush on you. Do you reciprocate? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's nice. Maybe a little naive. Seems convinced, uh, you're the love of his life. Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. Kind of creepy. I'd love to go <laughs> meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Um, I mean, I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Alright. So now I guess I gotta go back. Whoops. No, go back that way. Uh, yeah, now I gotta go back to the hangers, I suppose. And I gotta run to Pearl. Even though it's, like, super far. Eventually. Ah! That's enough Rambo Ramboing for me right now. Is it this door? Yes, it is. 
Pearl's Barracks. Very nice. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. Would you like to influence young love? How is your visit with us going, stranger? Uh, Jack's interested in this girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? Well, that's the thing. She's secular to your faction. As a matter of fact, she works with the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Well, that's the thing, man. It would mean a lot to Jack if you could just let her come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. Exactly. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Shut up, lady. All right, let's go tell Jack that he now has a beanstalk. Um, tell Jack Janet is interested in him. All right, sounds good. The good thing is, well, I think this is the hangar, actually. Are they bombing something? I hope it's not Janet. <laughs> that would suck. All right, should be this hangar. All right, look at us working young love. All right, Jack, Mr. Jack and the Beanstalk. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? You're a creep. But anyways, I mean, I suppose you have good news. She seems to feel the same way about you. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? <laughs> Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Well, I already spoke to Pearl, as a matter of fact. Uh, Janice, uh, Janice. Janet still needs a way to get past the artillery, though. Do you have any ideas? Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Perfect. So now I gotta go tell Janet? Yay, boomer outfit. I, I want to keep the boomer outfit. All right, let's go back to the Crimson Caravan. We're literally just going back and forth. Bunch of fast traveling and running in circles, aren't we? All right. Janet, Janet, I got something for you. You're going to be super excited because the creep you're in love with Hello is again. in love with you, too. Boomer friend? Uh... Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? Well, kind of. Uh, they did allow you to go. You still have to get past the artillery, though. So, this boomer uniform should be good for you to wear in route to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan. And if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Sure, I suppose. All right, looks like it's right over here. Hiya! Oh crap. Let's go. Where is she? Is this her? Hello. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Well, well, hold on. I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Sure, what's up? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. All right, so Janet asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her current contract. Ah, yes, her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp, more gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. That's true. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Whoa, fuck me. Um. Let me see, hold on. So I need to get to 75 speech. Can I get 75 speech? Um, let's talk to homeboy out here. Maybe he has a speech things. Aid. 
There's a fixing things. Come on, uh, whiskey. This does gives me charisma. I'll buy a couple of those. All right. You know what? I'm going. Lafferty's a hard ball. To go find. Uh, where is? Oh, no, that's the remnants bunker. I uh, Good Springs. I mean, let's go to Good Springs. We'll talk to Homegirl and see if. Potentially, I could buy a speech magazine. And she's not here, of course. Let's go ahead and rest for a few hours until 8 in the morning. And see if she's here. Where is she? Um. Hello? I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. Uh, sure. There she is. Hi. Feeling thirsty? I can. Shut up. Um, aid fixing things. Damn it. Um. All right, so she doesn't have what I'm looking for. Let's go talk to, what's his name, Brett or Chet? Chet better have something for me. Wait, where the hell's Chet? There you are. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, hopefully. Aid. Oh, salesman, we, oh no, that's barter, fuck. No, I need speech. Fuck. FML. Alright, so I guess we can freaking go to... Where is this place at? I mean, we could try Novak, actually. If we try Novak, we could potentially try to go to the little dinosaur. Wait a minute, you. There was some kind... Hey there. Need anything? Maybe. Aw, oh, he doesn't have anything. Get out of here, guy. You're useless to me. Let's talk to homeboy in the dinosaur. Because maybe he might have... I forgot what it's called. It's like speaking things or some shit like that. Welcome back. Gonna get... Maybe. Sure thing. Um, aid... All right, so what the hell? All right, there's another place right here. There's like a lot of shops around this place, isn't there? Get out of my way. All right, we'll start with you, I suppose. Back for more? You, that sounds weird, all right. Aid. Nope, later. And then he's asleep. This girl, I highly doubt she's gonna have anything that I need, but I'm gonna try talking to her anyways. I've still got guns and ammo if you need them. Um, hello. No wait. I'll Damn it, that's not what I wanted. I've still got guns and ammo. Show me what you got. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, let's look at her weapons. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go. Jump, damn it. Alright, uh, where's, uh... Will this guy sell to me? Still making a nuisance of it. So I need guns 40. Fuck. Alright. Is there any other place I could go? I could go to... Nah, I think we're good for now. I guess we'll come back over here. Sucks, but it is what it is. 
So what we're going to do is actually call it a video right here, right now. We're at that hour mark anyways. Uh, in the next video, we're going to see what we could do to potentially get her out of this contract without having her forfeit her wages. Uh, so we'll see what happens at that point. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Thank you.